What is good? Coming to you live in the evening for the first update for the Daily Xana number 116. Busy day, good day. Decided to sleep in a little bit. Went to bed around, right around 1 last night. Got done with all my work and got home right about midnight and I wanted to watch a little of a documentary on Hitler that was done like in the 70s. It was a pretty fascinating. It's a, like a two and a half hour documentary. I only watched like about an hour of it or so. Um, I'm going to try and regurgitate what I saw. But you know if you like if you were reading something before you go to bed it's, it's actually kind of hard. At least for me it is to uh, remember what exactly was all that I just read or absorbed content wise. Um, so yeah I'm just thinking here while I make my way across the Two busy roads. Um, yeah, well, I kind of de- delved into uh, Hitler's early childhood, growing up in. I want to say it was Vienna. I think it was Vienna. It was Vienna, Vienna, or um, was it Bavaria a place? Bavaria. Oh man, it's one of the two. Anyways, he grew up there. And he's mainly an artist. And his time as an artist, he actually applied to go to like this fancy art school. And I'm kind of just giving my own summary twist here. I mean, it's not gonna be accurate for the most part, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, delving into it. But yeah, he uh, attempted to go to this art school a couple times. I guess he never got accepted or he, never, he was never able to get in. And he never really wanted to have a normal job just because he saw it as a, uh, as a, um, as for him, it would inhibit his ability to be an artist if he had like a regular kind of job to make ends meet. So he ended up serving in the military, and he was in, involved in World War One, and he was mainly. I can't remember exactly what his duties were. It's something to do with like a messenger. He was a messenger for whatever. Uh, platoon or division, whatever the organizing, however they organized the troops, um, fell in somewhere along there. And he never really got promoted from there. And then when he got out of the army, he kind of just joined um, whatever kind of radical or foreign political group there was at the time in Germany. And he slowly made his way, his ranks up there. And it was actually pretty interesting so far. They I saw like a, one of his first, actually it was his first public speech he gave once he became, yeah, I don't know, he became some role in high up in the government and uh, the first speech he gave was just interesting how he started it all. He started it all by walking up to the mic and he literally just waited until the entire crowd, there was an arena full of uh, Germans and such and it was probably I don't know 20,000 or so people and it was a lot of people in the arena they literally just wait until it went silent and then from there he still remained silent for probably like a, maybe a minute or so really making sure people had his attention and he started talking and as he talked more and more he became more and more passionate and yeah so one thing you could definitely take away from how Hitler delivered his message. Mind you, I'm not, never, uh, I'm not for what he did and all that, but just dissecting how he was able to capture the imagination, capture the attention, and persuade so many Germans at that time uh, in favor of his ideologies and such was just, he came across as a very passionate man. And that's definitely one attribute of being very passionate that uh, coincides with high performer, uh, especially being able to talk and, and speak, come across as passionate. Man, it, uh, it really allows you to captivate people's attention and uh, really get things done that's for sure uh, I think it's also interesting to think about different cultures kind of come across as more passionate than other cultures 
You look at a lot of like the Latin cultures, the Spanish cultures, they're very known as very passionate people. Whereas you look at more of the Nordic countries, the Icelandic countries. I don't know why I said Icelandic. <laughs> There's only really one Icelandic country, that's Iceland. Um, the, yeah, they just call them Norwegian, Norwegian countries. Why am I blanking on the area? What do you call them the countries that are in Finland, Norway, um, Sweden kind of area? What the heck do you call that? What am I blanking on? Anyways, that kind of area. They're not really known as being the most passionate people in the world. But, uh, it's just interesting to think about. But yeah, really cool. Really kind of bizarre when you look back on it. That footage from like the 19, late 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Uh, on Hitler's time and just seeing like large crowds of people, swastika, and just kind of everybody conforming. So this one idea, one ideology that Hitler had. Uh, interesting stuff for sure. Definitely. Going back to perspectives, baby. Perspectives! But yeah. I'm going to continue on my journey here. Just letting you know I had a good day. Busy day, that's how I like it. I like to continue being busy, productive. Continue to learn continually. Although right now I'm not necessarily doing much. What should I say? I guess I'm not necessarily doing the thing I really want to do. But that's totally okay. I'm still working on definitely skills that I work on on a daily basis. Just kind of thinking on the spot, improvising, whether it be exercises, uh, getting a different status with a client that I didn't necessarily plan prior. And just being able on the spot, uh, cater to what their current, their current status is. It's definitely a good skill to have. So I'm going to continue to evolve with that. But yeah. Really want to uh, really want to do something and be something, and uh, definitely succeed and achieve lots in this lifetime. And I definitely need to be put myself in an environment, and it definitely holds me extremely accountable to that. And that will eventually come, eventually. But as of right now, I gotta remain low, not spend money, stay focused. I am the prize. I am the prize. Be the next current step. Get a well at the moment. Get in touch. Be in the presence of super high-end performance people. Uh, just start taking away different habits they have that led to their success. That's what I need to do. Next step from there. Get a position. Get some type of work that I can do that allows me to travel, aka fitness instructor, a cruise boat, and then from there on to the next level to ascend, whether that be some type of an entrepreneurial role or whatever. I just know I like to constantly be doing things, I like to constantly be doing things that continually challenge me and in order for me to really be successful and achieve, I really need to continually put things in front of me that challenge me, and I don't do that enough. That is for sure. So I need to continually do that. And just by me saying all this doesn't mean it's going to happen. I need to definitely take action on, on all of it to happen. I definitely plan on making it happen, and I really want to make it happen. So on that, I'm going to make it happen. No matter how many times I fail, I will get back up. I'm gonna have times I fall off that skateboard. I will get back up. Speaking of which, I got it right here. Now that I think of that, I, I probably call it, like name the skateboard after all. Maybe eventually. It's kind of same if I ever get a tattoo. It'll be eventually. Same with this skateboard name. It'll be eventually. Now, if I ever got a tattoo. Definitely have to be, have it hold a really significant part of my life that affected me in a way that I uh, grew tremendously from or had a deep impact on me to change my values or become a completely different person. And so, it's 
So anyways, this is going on 10 minutes. I'm going to cut it short because I'll probably just do one or two more updates. What is on the rotation, the roster, the lineup for tonight as far as to get items done. Make food. Do laundry. Write, some, write notes up. Get up to date with notes for work and then plan workouts for tomorrow. Those are the four items I need to do tonight. And then upload this video. So five. The deadly five items for tonight that I will get done. More to follow. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening to all my thoughts. Much appreciated as I continue to evolve as a humor human being. Catch you in the next update. Peace. Peace. Good. Back to the daily center number 116. I uh, just finished up doing my notes. Started working on my workouts for tomorrow. And right now I still have to do four more. But I'd say okay as I'm just transitioning right now over to Starbucks. By the way, this is back back out of the daily center number 116. Feeling good. Brain's being creative right now. And that's good. Definitely good. It's what I want. All right. I'm just going to keep it short. Why not? Keep it short and stay productive. So stay on task. So uh, with that said, I'm going to continue on here and uh, finish writing my workout. So yeah, let's plur it up. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Daily Xander number 116 in the I was going to say bag. In the bag. Why not? In the bag. It's a wrap. All right. Catch you next installment as always. Peace.